this is how to do double press. So for the double press, right, you're gonna be here, press it up. <coughs> so the things to to with the double press is that as I press up, I want always thumbs back. Doesn't mean it has to be like this. Each person's mobility is gonna be different, right? I just don't want the thumb going past basically my ear, right? It should be behind it, pointing some direction backwards. The other thing too is I always want triceps forward there. And then I don't want a super arch in the back. If you do, that's really one way to piss off your lower back. So instead, right, I want to tuck that, right? So just basically, Tuck your tail down up here. And in the same time, I try to keep my ribs down, all that, you know, a lot of stretching going on as you do the press, which is <clears throat> one of the reasons why it's such a good movement to do, because it really takes a lot of mobility to press overhead, right? And it opens, opens you up. <coughs> so with the press, double press, probably we're gonna clean our bells up. <laughs> So now from here, right, I'm gonna come right here and basically I'm gonna come in like at a 45, right, as I press up. I'm gonna start from my, from down here, right, I can rest right here, but I wanna squeeze those glutes, right, I'm gonna basically push my feet through the ground, making that 45 and pressing the bells straight up. Make sure that tail's tucked down, thumbs are back. If they're neutral, it's fine. I just want to be more forward than that. As long as they're going back, or neutral. Elbows forward and then back down. So right here, everything's tight. I take my breath in. And press up. Right? And as I'm going to press, this is the one time I don't really want to squeeze. I get, most of the times we don't want a death grip on the bell. This is that one time where it's all right. So, like I said, as I'm here, right, make sure glutes are engaged. I'm making full contact with my foot on the ground. And I'm basically, I'm pressing myself through the floor, right? Squeeze those glutes and those abs. Like it'll in, instantly, instantly, big word for me, uh, feel how you can press more. It gives you that more strength, right? Because now you're using your whole body instead of just relying on your upper body to press up. <coughs> so another thing too is I can do a little bit, as long as I'm locked out here, I can, I can use my abs, right, to to bring the bell up. <clears throat> so to do that, I'm here. So here, I just a little crunch. That's all it is. My legs stay locked out. I'm just gonna do a little crunch with my abs. It gives me a little oomph to bring the bells up. So right here. Just that little oomph to go up. And now another thing I can do too, is I can bring my hips forward and then I'll snap them back. So I'll bring the hips forward and back. So two kind of different ways. If you really got some heavy weight you're pressing, right? You can kind of do that. If you look at um, old weightlifting videos from from like the 70s and beyond, back when they had the press the Olympics, you'll see them really use their stomach. Bottom half stays locked up, but they really use that stomach to help get that weight up overhead in a press. <laughs> right? So this is a double press, right? Key things, right? As so you hear, obviously, fingers, right? We want to make sure as you clean them up, they're relaxed. If I'm here, I relax. 
I can keep them here. When, I'm, when I bring them apart, I can, you know, bring them, bring them over, over, wrap them around the handle so I'm not close, right? But I squeeze those glutes and those abs. I come up there at 45, press straight up. Uh, triceps forward, thumbs back. Take that breath in. Just kind of leak that air as you come up. Tails tucked in the back. No arch. Right? And that is your double press.